Alright, hi guys, this is iTech Info with another video for you. Okay, this video will be on how to play RuneScape, World of Warcraft, and any game that you play on your computer, whether it's installed or you play on your browser. You'll be, this video will show you how to play them on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Okay, firstly, I'd just like to apologise for the video quality. I still haven't saved up enough money for a video camera, but hopefully I'll be getting one soon. Okay, so, um, I'm just taking it away so you don't see my fast code. Um, if any of you guys have seen my previous video using iRemote, I personally prefer this, but you guys might prefer iRemote, and I'll tell you, I'll show you guys why I prefer this version, this one to iRemote. Okay, so, firstly, just go to the App Store. Wait for it to load, and then just go to search, and search for Mocha. The application you'll be downloading is called Mocha VNC Lite, because that's the free version. You can get the paid version if you want, but I recommend just like trying it out first. So just type in M O C H A for Mocha, and search for that. Okay, and it's the first one you'll see. Mocha VNC Lite. It's loading. I mean, there's only a few differences between um the light version and the paid version. Those differences are um another cool keyboard on the real version. Extra keys like Alt Control option and the apple key um it's got right mouse button and hover and mouse wheel so yeah that's pretty cool but just tap free wait about four seconds then tap install okay so whilst that's installing we'll go to the computer and do all the computer stuff okay so just bring up your web browser whether it's safari google chrome or Internet Explorer, Mozilla, whatever. I use Safari at the moment. Okay, so just go to tightvnc.com. I'll put the link on the description as well. Okay, and over here, where you can see download, it's just there where the mouse cursor is because I can't zoom in on this camera, which sucks. Just click on that and it'll bring it up. Okay, now download the Actually, what I'll do is I'll put the down this page on the description, so you'll come straight to this. Okay, so just tap the first one if you're a Windows user, which I am. So I just click on that. So okay, while it loads, like nothing we can do while it loads, actually, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, sorry guys, but this takes a very long time. Don't ask why. I really don't know. And I wish it was quick as, but unfortunately it's not, which sucks. Okay. Your t okay, so the web page loads and your type VNC download will start shortly. That's okay. Okay, so once it's installed, launch it. Okay, so this it, you want to bring up the Type VNC server, which is this. Okay, so in server up the top there, click on that. Now use a password for this. I will be using test. So T. Okay, ports, my ports are n four nines and then three nines and one eight for the HTTP. Use those because they always work. Some ports don't actually work, don't know why. So then just click apply. Okay, right, then just, okay. So then come back to the iPod touch. Okay, launch Mocha VNC Lite. Okay, 
Now up the top here, it'll say menu, so just go there, then edit connections. I'll be making a new one for you guys. Okay. So my IP address I'm not gonna show you guys. <laughs> That'd be stupid. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna just take it off the tripod thingy. Alright, so over here at this at like this area, if you can see like well, if you've got a Vista or XP, I guess, as well, the little, like, dock bar thingy there, and it'll have, like, the pic a picture of a little V. And on that... Um, it'll say type VNC server dash and then your IP address. That's what you'll need to write into the iPod Touch. Okay, so... Okay. Luckily, you actually can't really see my IP, but I'm just going to cover it with my finger. Okay, and then you'll see the VNC server port. Right, so that's 9999. Password. Test. T-E-S-T. -E Name. I don't need that. Mac OS X server. I don't I have that. Then everything else just leave it on. Okay, so then tap connect. And let's see. Okay, so I'm on my computer now. Alright, so let's just go to keyboard off. Um, down there it's just keyboard menu with the full version. You'll have like all the other ones as well. Same like mouse. I don't have the full version yet. But yeah, so I'll just click on start. And it'll appear there. It's it's slower than the computer, but so it's there and there. So the cool thing about this is you don't actually have to be on the same Wi-Fi network apparently. So you, if you're on China, you'll be able to use it. But I'm not too sure how to do it. Once I know how to do it, I'll publish a video or I'll just put it in the description. Okay. Right now, the reason I like this one is it's great for playing World of Warcraft because. You can go in landscape mode, just wait for it, see? And landscape mode's awesome, because if you adjust the World of Warcraft window to like the perfect size on your computer, and it'll fit perfectly on the iPod Touch, and you can do that with like our RuneScape and any other game, just like fit it perfectly, so that just change the size on the computer, and it's just like perfect, and you've got keyboard and everything you need. Oh, and to click, you just tap, and like move that move, and then like just drag and stuff to move around the screen. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this is helpful to you. So don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks guys, peace.